Thanks, Alex. So we're going to look at some improvements at sheet metal level now. So the first of these uh, is sort of related to an improvement we saw in 2014 with the introduction uh, of the lofted bend ability for us to do bent or formed uh, corners. So here you'll see a lofted sheet metal part which has actually been using the, uh, the bend option within lofted bends. However, in previous releases of SolidWorks, we couldn't do non-parallel uh, sketch lines like we have here. But you'll see if I just edit this feature just so we can remove a little bit of clutter from the screen, you'll see we've now got non-parallel sketches within this uh, sheet metal part, which is now supported in 2015. So, quite a nice, uh, nice new option there. Okay, a lot of the times you'll want to put in strengthening gussets into your uh, sheet metal parts like we've got here, but you don't want those to show in the flat pattern. So a couple of releases ago we saw, the, we saw or gained the ability to exclude items from the flat pattern, like gusset features like that, but it may be that you actually want some flexibility to show maybe their central position and their overall sketch. So in the DXF you can indicate to manufacturer that they are actually there and they're not having to refer back to the 3D model or a 2D drawing you've generated. Within the options page now uh, for sheet metal we now have a couple of additional options to allow us to show the sheet, uh, sheet metal gusset profile and to show the gusset centers when flattened. So now if we perform a flat pattern operation on this component we'll see that we get the outline and the center point for those gussets so that when we do DXF out this item we're ensuring that that information is relayed to manufacturing. Another area that's seen improvements is within the sketch bend tool. So now if we create a sketch bend uh, we have the ability to see a, th a preview which we didn't have in previous releases so we can ensure that whilst we're creating the sketch bend that we get the angle and orientation of the bend correct before we choose to accept the tool. So here if we just ensure they're pushing outwards then we can accept and we know that we're getting them in the right location. So another improvement is not just constrained to sheet metal but more appropriate at sheet metal level which is the support within the whole wizard for PEM fasteners. So we now carry a couple of PEM standards within here, inch and metric. If we choose those we can then specify a type, uh, so if we're using a self clinching nut for example, uh, and we can choose the varying different filters of those underneath as well. And all the off-the-shelf sizes are available to us there too. So we shouldn't have to look in the catalogue anymore. Uh, and it's nice that the, the support for those, uh, those pen fasteners is in there. Our final improvement at sheet metal level is the support for properties transferring when we create a mirrored component. So here if we just pre-select a plane and insert a mirrored part uh, here, we can now carry across certain key sheet metal information. So what will come across are things like the flat pattern, the fixed face, the grain direction, uh, faces to include bend lines and bend parameters. So previously we would just get an inserted uh, stock body, uh, whereas now we're going to carry across a multitude of sheet metal information into that secondary part that we're going to create. So if we just save this away on our system and produce a drawing for that, just so we can see the level of information that comes across, You'll see in the view palette on the right hand side that I can access the flat pattern information directly. All the bend lines will come across and any bend information as well. Uh, which means that we could then drop in a bend table into this drawing and ensure that we're getting an accurate representation of exactly what's going on in that part. Okay, so just in summary, we've got the non-parallel lofted bend support now. We can show gussets when flattened. We also have the sketch bend preview. Uh, the support for pen fastener holes in the hole wizard and sheet metal information will carry across to mirrored components. So Alex is going to take us through a new pattern style at assembly level now.